Hey everybody, how's it going? We're going to tell you today about the Father's business and what that looks like. Let's pray real quick first. Heavenly Father, I thank you for everybody that's watching this video or hearing the sound of our voices. Uh, we just bless them today in the name of Jesus. And we rebuke the tactics of the enemy against everybody that's watching this in Jesus' mighty name. And we thank you, Father. Let your glory uh, rest upon all of us in your presence. And we thank you for your presence, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. So the verse I got for you guys is uh, Matthew 10, uh, 5 through 8. And it says, Do not go into the way of the Gentiles, and do not enter a city of the Samaritans, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And as you go, preach, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, and cast out demons. <clears throat> so, this is Jesus when he's sending out the 12 disciples, telling them what to do. Uh, um, and he's saying to go cast out demons, to go heal the sick, to go raise the dead. And what this takes is faith and knowing that it's not you doing this, that it is the Holy Spirit within you. And he said that uh, it's better for you that I go because I leave, I leave with you the Holy Spirit. I leave with you the helper. And that helper is who we listen to. That helper is who guides us. That helper is who gives us strength and how, uh, how we can endure to go through the, the things that, that are going to come against us along the way, the mocking. And, of course, it's not going to be as bad as Jesus had it when he got crucified on the cross, but we will go through things. And the way we're going to make it through that is by the Holy Ghost and the strength and power that he has and that he gives us. Um, um, you're going to see a lot of crazy things. You're going to see a lot of wonderful, miraculous things as you do this. But a lot of it takes is fasting and prayer um, and consecrating yourself to, to God and to his word. <clears throat> And as, as you go do this, and as you see these crazy things, it'll help to build your faith. It'll help build faith of other people. It'll help bring people into the kingdom uh, and set the captives free to heal the sick. These things will come, and you will see it. I've seen it. Um, he's, he's seen it. He's been a part of it. Um, he's 12 years old. And by the way, this is my stepson, Kyler. Kyler, tell him what's up. What's up? <laughs> so we're just going to tell, tell you a little bit about uh, his, his testimony now. And he has a verse for you guys. What is it, Kyler? First Timothy 4.12 Let no one despise your youth, but be an example to the believers in word, in conduct, in love, in spirit, in faith, and in purity. So basically what that means is don't let anyone tell you that you're too young to do the will of God. Be an example of Christ to those that say that and do the unbelie unbelie believers and believers both. My testimony is I'm 12 years old and I've cast demons out of people at this young of an age. I got filled with the Holy Spirit. I got hit with the uh, tongues so I can start yes. speaking in tongues. And I've been filled since March 8th. And just like, just just like Jesus when he was 12 I'm about my father's business yeah that's right so I want you to tell him about one of the times you casted out demons from someone what happened so basically I casted them out and then once we were all done we had anger depression and anxiety so once we got them out it was controlling her by the throat and she uh, she ended up coughing out blood because the demons were stuck to her throat. Mm -hmm. And she was set free from those things? Yep. Awesome. So that's the power of the Holy Spirit that's within us, that he's doing these things. It's the Spirit of Christ, the Spirit of God that's doing those things, and that's the power. It doesn't matter. Like the verse he gave you, do not despise youth. Um, and this is going out not this, just to adults, but to uh, teenagers and young people alike. That this is what we all should be doing is being about our father's business and like he said he's 12 and he's about his father's business and I've witnessed these things within him as well uh, so I just want to encourage you all as, as adults and young people to get out there um, if you haven't accepted the Lord to accept him confess with your mouth believe with your heart that Jesus is Lord he's risen again you're a sinner re um, repent of your sins 
and accept him and uh, become a believer and the next be baptized with water uh, as forgiveness of your sins and, that, and also as a symbol that uh, you are married, you are the bride of the bridegroom, the bridegroom is Christ which makes us the bride, that's like the symbol of a wedding ring that we are, uh, we are consecrated, we are set aside for Christ and for God and his will. And that shows that. So after you, after you've saved, you've been saved. Um, repent and go be baptized, and then uh, ask God to fill you with the Holy Spirit with fire, and He will do it. And you'll you'll start speaking in tongues. Ask Him afterwards to receive the, uh, the spiritual gifts, the gifts that God has for you. Uh, it's different for all people. Some people I've noticed have received more than one. Some people may just receive one. But listen to the, the still small voice within you, the Holy Spirit, of uh, every move you should make. Acknowledge the Lord in all your ways. In all your ways. And he will establish your steps. Not just some of them, all of them. So we just want to encourage you guys today to get out there. Make disciples of all nations. Find the lost sheep. Be fishers of men. And reel, reel in those souls for the kingdom. So I, uh, we love you guys, and we want you to be encouraged and blessed in Jesus' name. You want to pray us out, buddy? Yeah. So I ask you, Jesus, that someone, that the person watching this, uh, that will hear of our voices right now, that they will get filled with the Holy Spirit. Yes. That if they see someone st sick, they will help them. In your mighty name, Jesus. Yes. And that they will come humble. They'll become hungry for you, Lord, in your name, Jesus. That's all I got. Amen. <laughs> Jesus' name, amen. I bless you guys. Stay prayed up. Leave a like and comment. Yeah, do that. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. Turn uh, on post notifications for us. Do all of those things. All the things you know what to do. Do all those things. We appreciate you guys. Stay blessed. Okay.